الحمد لله جل جلاله والمصلى عليه محمد وآله All praise be to Allah, the Lord of the universe, our creator, our sustainer, our ending and our beginning. Incredible amount of salah, salam and salutations to the greatest messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Respected scholars, my dear brothers and sisters. As we begin the noble Quran, as we open the glorious book of Allah the Almighty, the first chapter we see is Surah Al-Fatiha. And you'll be surprised to see that the first verse in Surah Al-Fatiha, Al-Fatiha means the opening, the first chapter of the Noble Quran. And this chapter begins with an important verse teaching the humanity a concept of gratitude. Let's look at this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wow, all praise be to Allah. Alhamd, the praise, the gratitude, the shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, the Lord of the universe. This chapter is so important that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he actually um, described this chapter as a mother of Quran. And in fact, Surah Al-Fatiha, we have to recite in every cycle of our prayer, in every rakah of our prayer. But the first verse is teaching the mankind to be a grateful servant of Allah. Someone who has the beautiful quality of gratitude, the shukr. Unfortunately, we're living at a time when people are complaining every single day. People are not happy with what they have. People don't have the contentment, the itma'inan, the sukoon, or the peace and tranquility in their hearts. But this verse is teaching us to be grateful people. Thank Allah for everything that you have. Hamd. First you praise Allah and also be thankful to people. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Man lam nasa falam Those who are not thankful to people, they're not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves that quality of shukur. He really likes people who are thankful. And therefore, in a verse, he says very clearly, That if you are grateful to me, if you say, Alhamdulillah, all praise be to in all situations, whether it, you may be happy or you may be upset, but you still say Alhamdulillah for everything. Allah is saying, He's promising, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ Surely I will increase the sustenance and favors for you. لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ وَلَإِن كَفَرْتُمْ But if you are ungrateful, if you have that, you know, the, the, the tendency of kufr, the, the denial, that you, you deny everything that Allah gave you, or you deny the favors of people, then, وَلَا إِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ إِنَّ عَذَابِي لَشَدِيدٌ My torment, verily my torment is very painful. Uh, we find also Quran says, and speaks about the people, and he described the nature of human beings. Nature of human beings are ungrateful. They are never happy. No matter what you give them, they still want more. And they have this tendency of complaining. Allah doesn't like that, that the habit of complaining. And also people. I mean, if, for example, if a child constantly complains, the parents would not like. Same, if a husband is constantly complaining, a wife would be fed up. And a wife is compla constantly complaining, a husband would be fed up. Generally, people don't like the people who complain. People love the, pe the people who, do, who have gratitude. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He loves those people. And when you are grateful and when you are thankful servant for everything that you have, the money, the cars, the family, the wife, the husband, the house, everything that you have in your life, the breathing that you're taking every moment, thank Allah for that. And say, Alhamdulillah, la in shakartum la nakum inna. And in, of course, Allah also, He describes human beings like, the ungrateful people. So he said, وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِيَ الشَّكُورِ Very few people, and they are the chosen, they are the most respected people in the sight of Allah who thank Allah and who are grateful to Allah. But he's saying, وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِيَ الشَّكُورِ But very few of them are grateful. وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِيَ الشَّكُورِ Very few people are grateful to him. So we as people, we need to really adopt that quality of having shukur and gratitude in every day of our life. And inshallah, and I promise wallahi, and it's a promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more grateful you are, the more thankful you are, Allah will be happy with you, and people will also be happy with you. And you will be a successful person in this world and in the next world. Wa jazakallah khair, thank you so much for listening attentively. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.